Hi, today I'm going to discuss about Zoho CRM Mail Merge Template and uh, also discuss how to use Zoho CRM API uh, to get the data from different modules. Um, we can use Mail Merge uh, Template here to create a new Mail Merge. Zoho CRM Mail Merge is a very nice tool so that you can get specific record values and merge to a Word document so you can save it or send it by email or convert it to a PDF file. Uh, for example, here I got um, uh, a template. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so you can see those values, this gray highlighted are all the values from, from um, each individual lead. So once you do the mail merge, those values will be populated and then you can save it and you can you know, send it to your customer or convert it to the PDF, uh, etc. However, a Zoho CIM mail merge can only fetch data from one module. Here, for example, it only can get from leads. You cannot get from accounts, contacts or invoice anymore. If you want to get the uh, related data from all the other modules, then it is impossible uh, to do so. However, we can use Zoho CIM API function to get related data across modules and save it as a Word or PDF document. Here is an example. Uh, this is the invoice Word and template. Um, the we want to get is invoice, you know, student name or student information here. This is all from one module, which is called invoices. Okay, now uh, this section is we want to get the data from the uh, another module. Let's call it as a host family contact information. So it won't be listed in invoice. Uh, then, uh, as we can see, here is empty. We just cannot get a host family uh, uh, address and the telephone number if we're using Zoho and Mail Merge. And also the host family profile. It's all in different module. So uh, what we, we can do is, let me show you the uh, uh, website. Okay, what we, we did is we create a website uh, administration section that means the uh, CIM owner needed to log in to this page uh, to to access those uh, uh, functions uh, right now uh, for example this one this is the template which is uh, not working properly because we need address and telephone number however um, if we using the who CIM API call uh, let's say this is the invoice ID invoice number which is a very unique in the who CRM uh, module invoice module so I'm going to do this I click this and I type the invoice number so I submit and after I click submit uh, the function will go to the the who CRM uh, modules called invoice and based on this ID we'll get the uh, all the invoice related information here but same time because in the invoice we also have a family a host family contact name it's a unique name so based on that unique name uh, the program will go to a host family module to get the uh, those address and the phone number and the uh, family profile so right now after i click submit there is a download link that means it's ready let me click it and let me open it. Okay, let me move here. So as you can see, those cross module value is populated and become a Word document. We can also convert it to the PDF. So compare this to, compare this, you cannot get uh, any value across module but if we use API function you can get it uh, without any problem 
So anyway, that's mean uh, if we use Zoho CRM API function and build a uh, communication from your website, and you can get any kind of data you want from your Zoho C CRM and save in as a Word document or PDF. Uh, the condition is if those modules are logically related and can be found by their uh, modules ID or unique value, then we can find those value across modules. That's all. Thank you. Bye.